With these light fixture covers, you want to slide it all the way over to one side and then starting at one corner, start to pull it down and slide it over to remove it. And then if you want to replace a fluorescent tube, you want to rotate the tube from the center so that the pins align top and bottom with the slot and then you can slide it down. When you're putting the new one in, you want to align the top and bottom pins up and slide them up into the slot on one side. And then with the, the pins top and bottom straight up and down into the slot, insert it and then rotate to the side from the center. Here's the second light. I'm going to change it so that they match, rotating the uh, two pins so they're in line with the slot and pulling it down. And then here's inserting the new one, lining the two pins up top and bottom with the slot, pushing it in on one side, top and bottom pins with the slot, and then rotate to the side from the center. Putting the cover back on, you want to put the cover all the way on on one side and slide it over so that's all the way on one side and then from the corner pushing it up and over so that it's in and you're good to go. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross. And he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. but. Be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today, so you don't miss out, and uh, so that you have the covering. Is He is the Lamb the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.